At the state capitol today, members of Stop Solitary Connecticut will be holding a rally later on this morning. They're calling on the governor to sign the so-called Protect Act, also known as SB 459. It passed both chambers last week and is now waiting on Governor Lamont's signature. Well, this week kicks off Operation Save a Life. It's a nonprofit national rail safety program. Yeah, this year the program launching a rail safety pledge that you can take online. Fox 61's Rachel Piscatelli joining us now from the Wallingford train station with more on what you need to know. Good morning, Rachel. Hey, good morning, Tim and Symphony. Yeah, so this is the 50th year of this uh, organization, Operation Lifesaver, to raise awareness for rail safety and what you should do uh, around the railroad tracks. I've, I read a really staggering statistic that one in every three hours, a vehicle or a pedestrian is struck across the United States, something that it seems to be a, a problem across the United States, but something that's not talked about a lot. And joining me now is Kevin Burns, who is the head of Operation Lifesaver in Connecticut, Department of De uh, Department of Transportation. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Talk a little bit about what Operation Lifesaver is. It is the nonprofit uh, national organization dedicated to rail safety education. Uh, it is uh, a national program that's in, in sync with all railroads and, and states throughout the United States, and uh, they go around uh, trying to prevent train tragedies. And so one of the things that you will see on our station all week long is some PSAs about what folks should do, avoid when encountering railroad tracks. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what those PSAs mean and what folks should do? Safety tips. Well, um, the three videos that we're going to be showing on, on for commercial ads to pr promote rail safety, one is about trespassing. People should never walk on the train tracks. They should only cross a designated area such as, you know, over uh, tracks like above here uh, or at designated crossings. Uh, you should, uh, you know, never uh, uh, always expect a train. You should always make sure that, uh, you know, you never cross the train tracks unless you're at a designated crossing. And then the other one is being safe at crossings. You never, uh, you know, always obey the signals. Look for a train that's coming if there's only, if it's a passive crossing or there's not active signals. And then, um, you know, if there's a problem at a crossing or on the railroads, to be aware of the ENS signs. It's the emergency notification system. All railroads to have that throughout the United States. Um, it's a little blue and white sign at a crossing. And if there's a problem at the crossing, call the number on there and we'll stop the trains immediately. And one of the things that I read um, about this is folks think oftentimes that they can hear the train coming, but that is often not the case. That's correct. Uh, trains are really quiet today, um, especially on our shoreline uh, trains out there. They're all electrified out there, and those are really, really quiet. And the trains today are, uh, you know, they're fuel efficient, they're less noisy, uh, so people will think they're hitting. And there's a lot of people out there walking around with earbuds in, and unfortunately, uh, those people get hit when they walk onto the train tracks because they will not hear the train coming. And so one of the things that you're doing, this is new to Operation Lifesaver, is a rail safety pledge. Can you talk a little bit about that and what folks can do and where they should go to sign that pledge? Yes. So uh, for the 50th anniversary, Operation Lifesaver came out with the uh, uh, rail safety pledge to, to document how, how people to know, know that they have the information about this. So if you go to www.oli.org, that's Operation Lifesaver Incorporated.org, um, all they, you could click onto the pledge and you could take the pledge and everybody should uh, know how to do that. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. I appreciate your time. Very, very important safety tips. We'll have a, a link to Operation Lifesaver, that rail safety pledge on our website. But for now, I'm live in Wallingford, Rachel Piscatelli, Fox 61 News.